Hey everybody, I am standing in the new Livingston campus. It's under construction, things are going great. We're gonna be opening up in just a short few weeks, but we're not waiting till opening day to start doing things here in Livingston and making a difference. So check out this video. I'm here today at the Overton County Board of Education, excited to share with you some things that are going on here and raise awareness about a need that we all really should know more about. Okay. Well, we're glad that you're here. I'm Mark Winningham. I'm the Director of Schools here. And we're just tickled to death that you guys are here to talk with us about a, a very uh, major need in our community. Hi, I'm Patty Dale. I'm now the School Nutrition Director for Overton County Schools. In the last two years, I was the homeless liaison for our, our district. So we really understand, and, and what we've been told is that you've seen an increase in the homeless population here in Overton County. Can you tell me a little bit about that? In the previous school year, we had eight students identified as homeless in our district. This past school year, in the 2018-19 school year, we actually had 72 students who identified as homeless. So we actually went up 900% in one year in our homeless population. Wow. I would imagine that that sparks a lot of conversation and a lot of questions about interventions and ways to really make a difference for those students. Can you tell me a little bit about, in your role, how you were able to do that? One of the things was at the high school, they did um, start a small closet that had toiletries, so, um, clothes, shoes, things like that. But I think what we're trying to kind of make more aware, especially as our population has grown, is for that to move down into the middle schools and the elementary schools. So the high school was doing it previously, but we'd like to see that kind of go down into the middle schools and the elementary schools. Sure, making that available for all, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Absolutely. What would be some of the biggest obstacles that you might encounter in doing that? I think mostly is getting that started at each school because it's like when we got that started at another school and at the high school we've got people that keep bringing in and not a, not a lot but they'll bring in a little bit at a time at the elementary and the middle schools we've not been able to do that yet but i think that once we get it started it'll be able to just keep evolving and we'll be able to help and do more for those students that need just a little bit we have a lot of students that um, have their own jobs and they're working to pay for their lunches or to pay for their clothes. And this is just another way to help them get that little bit of extra boost to let them know that we really do care about them and we want them to be successful. I love that. Sometimes all we need is someone in our corner, right? And exactly. someone that is there. And I do agree. I think if we know, if people know, if the community knows that there is a need, we can help meet it. And the community is so good about rising up to do that, and that's one of the things we wanted to do today was help increase awareness of that. And I think, though, like you said, getting it started is sometimes part of the battle, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. It's just like you said, the awareness and just educating people what our students' true needs are, that can go a long ways in making sure our kids are successful. We wanted to come today to help raise awareness. That's not all that we wanted to do. Um, at Life Church, we have something called the Dollar Club. And every month we ask everyone in our church to give an extra dollar because we believe that when we put all of those dollars together, we can do something even bigger than what any of us can do on our own. And so we are excited to come here today and tell you that this month, you and this program are the recipient of our Dollar Club. And so what I have for you today is a $5,000 check Oh my to start gosh. the personal hygiene items pantry at every school in Overton County. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, wow. <laughs> we are honored to be a part of what you're doing because we, we believe we are right there with you and we believe in what you're doing and we want to honor you for the work that you are doing and come alongside you and help support you as you meet this need in your community. Thank you so much. That is huge. Thank you so much. It's an honor. That's just, thank you so much. This is incredible. This will go so far. Thank you. Thank no, you for thank doing you. what you, you're doing. Thank you for seeing a need and making it happen. Thank, thank you. you. Absolutely.